The Tengjerezi Nagoko Javanese, Madhya Javanese, Krama Javanese, Nagoko Gedrik, Wang Tengger, Madhya Gedrik, Tayang Tengger, Krama Gedrik, Priyantan Tengger, Indonesian, Suku Tengger people are a Javanese ethnic group in eastern Java who claim to be the descendants of the Majapahit princes. Their population of roughly 100,000 is centered in 30 villages in the isolated Tengger Mountains Mount Bromo in the Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park in eastern Java. Scattered communities of Tengjeresi also exist in the Pasaruan, Prabalingo, Maulong, and Lumajang regencies of eastern Java. They are traditionally believed to be the descendants of legendary Roro Anting and Joko Seeger. The Tengjeresi are considered an ethnic sub group of the Javanese people. History before the 15th century, the past of the Tengjeresi was linked with the Majapahit and other kingdoms from the earlier period. According to legend, Yaka Seeger and Roro Anting are the ancestors of the Tengjeresi. Language The Tengjeresi speak an archaic Javanese dialect called Tengger Javanese. Elements of modern Javanese influences can be heard in their speech. They have their own written Kavi script based on the old Javanese Brahmi type. Religion The Tengjeresi generally profess Hinduism as their religion, although they have incorporated many Buddhist and animist elements. Like the Balinese, they worship Ida Sang Hyang Wide Iwasa roughly. Big Almighty Lord, for blessings in addition to other Hindu and Buddhist gods that include the Trimurti, Shiva, Brahma, Vishnu, and Buddha. Their places of worship include the Pundan, Potan, and Danyang. The Potan is a sacred area of ground at Mount Bromo's Sand Sea and becomes the focus of the annual Kasada ceremony. In the Potan, it contains several buildings and enclosures, arranged in a specific composition called the Mandalas. Zones. The Tengjeresi also worship a host of spirits ancestor worship. They include Sikkil Bakal, the spirits of the founders of the village, the Ro Bahorikso, the village guardian spirits and the Ro Laluhur, the spirits of the ancestors. Rituals to propitiate these spirits are conducted by special priests. During these rites small doll-like figures representing the spirits are clothed in batik cloth and are presented with food and drink. It is believed that the spirits partake of the essence of these offerings. The Bromo volcano is considered one of the most sacred places. If it erupts, they believe that their god is very angry. The Tengjeresi give food offerings to the gods. Sahinan is presented to the guardian deities by the priest in formal liturgy. For different occasions foods are offered as Sahinan. For instance, during weddings a cone of rice, Tumpung Walagara, is offered. It is considered to be a source of blessing for the couple and the whole village. Suguan are offered by ordinary Tengger Hindus to their ancestral spirits. Tamping are food offerings to evil spirits to ward off bad luck and typically consist of meat, rice and bananas wrapped up in leaves and put at places such as cemeteries, bridges, and road intersections. The priests are called Dukan or Rezi Puyanga, they play a middle role in their religious worship. They are believed to possess spiritual knowledge of the gods and the spirits called Ilmu, which they carefully guard from ordinary Tengers. Priesthood is hereditary and generally passes down from father to son. Each village has only one of these priests, with three assistants Legan, Sepa, and Dandan. In the past few decades, due to overpopulation in Madura, many Madurese settlers exploited the Tengjeresi land by clearing some of their nature reserves and converting 2 to 3 percent up to 10,000 of the Tengjeresi to Islam in the process particularly those in the more accessible areas in the lowlands just outside the Tengger range. Because of this Islamic missionary activity, the remaining Hindu Tengjeresi asked the Balinese Hindus for help by reforming their culture and religion closer to the Balinese. The Indonesian government declared the Tengger Mountains as the Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park and declared that any more logging in this area is an illegal act, therefore protecting the Tengjeresi from further disruption. Lifestyle The Tengjeresi are basically either agriculturalists or nomadic herders. 
The agriculturalists generally live on the lower altitudes, while the nomads live on the higher altitudes, riding on small horses. Festivals Yadniya Kasada The main festival of the Tengjeresi is the Yadniya Kasada, which lasts about a month. On the 14th day of the Kasada, the Tengjeresi go to Potan Bromo and ask for blessing from the main deity Hyang Wydai Wasa and Mahadeva, the god of the mountain Mount Semeru, by offerings rice, fruit, vegetables, flowers, livestock and other local produce. They also see the examination of the medicine men memorizing prayers. The medicine man who passes the exam is chosen to be the spiritual leader of the Tengar tribe. The origin of this festival is a legend that dates back to the Majapahit kingdom. During the reign of King Brawajaya, the queen of the kingdom gave birth to a daughter named Roro Anting, who married Yaka Seeger, a young man from the Brahmin caste. According to the legend, Roro Anting and Yaka Seeger were among many others who fled from the tattering Majapahit kingdom during the 15th century, when the declining kingdom was in the brink of collapse while the rapid spread of Islam in Java has begun. The couple and their followers later settled in the Tengar Mountains and ruled the region jointly under the title Purbwaisa Mankarat ng Tengar. Tradition holds belief that they are ancestors of modern Tengar people. For a few years the Tengjeresi people flourished under the leadership of Yaka Seeger and Roro Anting, yet the king and queen were unhappy for they had no children. Desperate, they climbed to the top of Mount Bromo and prayed for help. Deeply moved by the couple's depth faith, the god of Mount Bromo assured them of offspring but with the condition that the youngest child be sacrificed in the crater of the volcano. After giving birth to 25 children, the time came for Roro Anting to fulfill her part of the pledge. Though reluctant, they were threatened with catastrophe, forcing them to fulfill their pledge and comply with the god's wishes. They had no choice but to sacrifice their 25th child, Kesuma, by throwing him into the crater. In an alternate story, Kesuma was taken and consumed by the fire arising from the crater when he was about to flee from Mount Bromo. The Tengar people then started to commemorate this festival. Topic. See also. Topic. Agama Hindu Dharma. Balinese. Banyumasan. Padui. Dayak. Eastern salient of Java. Javanese. Osing. Toraja. BBC Earth series. Lands of the Monsoon. Topic References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. D sixteen do blogdetic. Com. Tourism and conversation in the Bromo Tengar Sarumu National Park. Kasada Ceremony at Mount Bromo Discovering East Java Media related to Tengar people at Wikimedia Commons <laughs>